If you guys caught the bow braid video yesterday, I mentioned how I have a couple of my guys in the safety class. I am a huge fan of bow braid, but there is another safety that I don't think anyone is talking about the way that they should be. Oregon State safety Kitan Oladapo is a big bodied safety who has some really solid athletic abilities and has been very productive for the Beavers over the last couple of seasons, but it doesn't seem like he is being talked about much in this safety class. What makes him such a unique prospect? That is what we will be talking about in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would like to see me talk about in the next video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Oladapo has been very productive over the last couple of seasons for Oregon State. In 2022, he finished the year with 80 total tackles, 2.5 sacks, and 6 pass deflections, which was good enough to earn him first team all pack 12. His 2023 season was arguably better than the prior. He finished with 73 total tackles, 1 sack, 1 forced fumble, 2 interceptions, and 7 pass deflections on the year. His numbers are solid all around, and he was a pretty productive player at the collegiate level. The first thing that really stands out with Oladapo is his size. He looks like a small linebacker out there. He is absolutely huge. He is 6'2", 219 pounds, and he has an awesome frame for the position. He's tall, he's long, and he's a very strong prospect as well, which are all things that I love from my safeties. Oladapo thrives in the money backer role or as a box safety. He was absolutely fantastic in run support, and he came down and crashed the run very well. He did a great job of penetrating the defense and getting into the backfield, and I was very impressed by that. He had great timing, which was the big thing, and he was a good blitzer and run defender. I think he could thrive in the box at the next level. He's very strong and a sure tackler, and he does a very good job of wrapping up and finishing the plays. He takes good angles, I think he's got really good play strength. Oladapo also has the ability to cover, and he was very solid in coverage. I think he is really, really solid in man-to-man -man coverage. He's a very fluid mover for his size, and he has flexible hips and moves around the field tremendously. With the ball in the air, Oladapo closes quickly, and he has great acceleration to the football. His timed 40 at the combine was a 4-5-8, which looks a little underwhelming, but it always felt to me that he played faster than that on the field. And I was pretty impressed by his athletic abilities in coverage. We talked about how he thrives in man-to-man -man coverage, but his zone coverage can be questionable at times. Yes, he has the closing speed and the instincts to find the football. That's not the issue. The issue is, he does a very poor job of getting caught staring at the quarterback. His eyes are caught in the backfield at times, and it led to some bigger plays over the top of him. I definitely would like to see that improve, and like to see him be a little bit more disciplined with his eyes. The other thing that is questionable about Oladapo's game is he doesn't have a very smooth backpedal. It feels a bit bumpy, and it doesn't always feel super smooth, especially in his transitions. I would also like to see that improve from him as well, because he can get, can get caught flat-footed and it leads to bigger plays to get behind him. I like Kitten Oladapo quite a bit. I still think he has a lot of room to develop and still pretty raw, but the athleticism, the tackling ability, and the athletic traits are all there for me. He is my number 10 safety in the draft class. I think that his questions in zone push him down my board just a little bit, but I still think he will have a very good career in the NFL. He is my number 104 player in the draft class. I want to see Oladapo play that box safety role at the NFL level. He has the size to do it, and when he is coming downhill to defend the run or blitz the quarterback, that is where I think he is at his best. I think that is where I would like to see him play primarily at the NFL level. One of my favorite comps in the entire draft class is Kitchen Oladapo being compared to Adrian Amos. Athletically, they are nearly identical. They have very similar size, length, and their combine numbers were very similar as well. They also both have a very similar play style, and Amos was a very solid safety 
for a number of years. I think Oladapo can develop into that type of player at the next level. I really think he has a high ceiling, and if he lands in the right spot, could be a starting safety for a long time in the NFL. Keaton Oladapo is a very underrated player. He has good size, good athleticism, and I don't really understand why he isn't getting the love that he deserves. I like him quite a bit, and ultimately, I believe that Keaton Oladapo will be a fifth round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.